OpenAI and Google are going head to head again, and this time it's a full on showdown. OpenAI's leaked GPT 5.1 thinking model looks ready to take on Google's upcoming Gemini 3 Pro, while Google is also cooking up Nano Banana 2, a next gen image generator built on its Gemini tech. And what's crazy is that both could drop within days of each other, so let's talk about it. All right, let's start with OpenAI. Hidden deep in the chat GPT backend, developers recently spotted traces of something called GPT 5.1 thinking, and it looks like a completely new kind of model, not just a speed or parameter upgrade. The leak came from internal code showing GPT 5.1 thinking listed next to other chat GPT variants, which basically confirms OpenAI's next major release is already being tested behind the scenes. What's interesting is that this thinking model isn't about writing faster replies. It's about reasoning, taking its time to think through complex tasks the way humans do. Early indicators suggest this version could use multi-step reasoning, meaning it breaks down your prompt into smaller parts before forming a complete answer. It might also introduce something called thinking budgets, where the model allocates more computation or time to difficult problems, just like a person would pause before answering a tough question. And there's strong speculation that OpenAI tuned this model for better context handling, understanding ambiguity and nuance with more clarity. Similar to how Anthropic's Claude recently improved its chain of thought reasoning. So while the thinking label sounds a bit theatrical, it could be OpenAI's most deliberate step toward cognitive depth. Instead of trying to be the fastest, it's aiming to be the most thoughtful. And the timing of this leak couldn't be more strategic. Google is right on the verge of releasing Gemini 3 Pro, the next major model in its lineup. And OpenAI's move seems almost designed to intercept the spotlight. Gemini 3 Pro is expected to feature a massive 1 million token context window that's long enough to process entire books, code bases, or large projects in one go. So while Google bets on scale and memory, OpenAI's response seems to be depth and reasoning power. Two very different directions, both trying to solve the same core problem, making AI feel more human in how it thinks and reacts. The GPT 5.1 label itself isn't just speculation anymore. References to multiple new versions of GPT 5.1, GPT 5.1 Reasoning, and GPT 5.1 Pro have been found directly in OpenAI's own code base. Even more interesting, enterprise logs reveal that larger organizations will soon have control over which models they deploy, letting them opt out of experimental releases. This is big for companies running AI in production, since they'll finally be able to freeze stable versions without worrying about sudden upgrades breaking workflows. The same code points to a November 24th rollout date for the GPT 5.1 family. And while that's probably targeted at enterprise customers first, insiders think individual Plus and Pro users could see it even earlier. That would put OpenAI's launch window right in the same period as Google's Gemini 3 Pro, almost like a coordinated duel. Another hint came from the open source community. On OpenRouter, a mysterious model named Polaris Alpha started showing up, and users quickly realized it behaves far beyond GPT-4 class models. Many now believe it's actually GPT-5.1 thinking in disguise. The model performs exceptionally well in creative writing and benchmark reasoning tests, which adds weight to the theory. If that's true, public access to GPT-5.1 might already have started quietly. For OpenAI, this rollout fits its new pattern. Instead of one giant reveal, they're moving toward incremental but visible improvements segmented by purpose. There'll likely be smaller mini-models for speed, thinking models for reasoning, and pro models tuned for enterprise-grade reliability. The interesting part is how these models may behave differently depending on the type of task you give them. You could have one model that responds instantly for chat while another takes longer but delivers a more structured, deliberate analysis. Now Google's got its own surprises lined up. New leaks confirmed that Gemini 3 Pro and another model named Nano Banana 2 are in the final testing stages, both expected to roll out around November and December. Gemini 3 Pro recently appeared on Vertex AI, Google's cloud platform, under the label Gemini 3 Pro Preview 11 2025, lining up perfectly 
with the company's usual release cadence. While Gemini 2.5 Pro, the current version, is only about eight months old, it's still one of the strongest large models in use, especially for coding. On the SWE Bench Verified benchmark, it scores 63.8% using a custom agent setup. That's below Claude Sonnet 4.5 at around 77%, but it shows how tight the competition is. Gemini 3 Pro is expected to push those numbers significantly higher, especially with its larger context window and multimodal reasoning features. But the bigger surprise is Nano Banana 2, Google's new generation of AI image generation technology. Internally known as GemPix 2, it's built directly on the Gemini 3 Pro image model, the same architecture that will power Gemini's upcoming visual features. The original Nano Banana was the cultural moment earlier this year. It let users turn selfies into glossy 3D style portraits, and it exploded in popularity inside the Gemini app. That single feature alone brought over 10 million new users within weeks and actually helped Gemini surpass ChatGPT's download numbers for the first time. Even NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang called it a breakthrough in user creativity and joked that he'd gone Nano Bananas playing with it. Now the sequel is aiming way higher. Nano Banana 2 will support native 2K renders with 4K upscaling, giving professional grade quality right from a phone. Prompt accuracy is also getting a big boost thanks to Gemini 3 Pro Images improved text to image pipeline. For the first time, AI generated posters, UI mockups or magazine graphics should show perfectly legible typography instead of that weird mangled text we're used to. One of the most talked about upgrades is cultural context awareness. The model understands geographic and cultural nuances, so if someone types streetwear shoot in Berlin winter or family picnic in Tokyo springtime, it generates visuals with regionally accurate lighting, scenery, and fashion details. It's trained on far broader geographic data sets to make outputs feel real and localized rather than generic. Google's also fixing one of the most annoying issues with image models, subject consistency. Earlier versions sometimes changed a person's face or outfit between scenes, but Nano Banana 2 keeps characters coherent across multiple prompts. Developers say it now behaves almost like a lightweight visual storytelling tool, maintaining continuity for creators working on campaigns or animations. And the editing tools are stepping up too. There's a new edit with Gemini mode that lets users highlight parts of an image to modify instead of starting over. You can tweak outfits, adjust lighting, or replace backgrounds while preserving the rest of the composition. Combined with a new rendering system that completes complex prompts in under 10 seconds, down from 20 to 30 previously, Nano Banana 2 is now as fast as Mid Journey 6 or Adobe Firefly. Under the hood, all of this runs on Gemini 3 Pro Image, a multimodal architecture that merges image, text, and vision language reasoning. The underlying pipelines include text to image, image to image, and even multi-image fusion, meaning the same backbone that powers these creative tools could soon appear in Google Photos, Workspace, and even Android wallpaper generation. If the leaks are right, Nano Banana 2 will understand tone, style, and detail on a whole new level, turning casual prompts into results that actually feel intentional and consistent, not just random good luck. The timing of this release looks intentional too. Google plans to integrate Nano Banana 2 fully into Gemini's image panel by early 2026 alongside Gemini 3 Pro's multimodal updates. There's even talk that the Pixel Fold 2 and Pixel 9 Pro will include real-time camera analysis powered by the same model. So when Gemini 3 Pro launches, it will be a full-spectrum AI ecosystem covering text, image, reasoning, and device integration. Meanwhile, Google also rolled out something more technical but just as important for developers, the Agent Development Kit for Go, or ADK Go. It's part of the same toolkit family that already supports Python and Java, but now it brings the same capabilities to Go developers. ADK is Google's open source framework for building AI agents directly in code rather than relying on visual workflows. It moves everything, logic, orchestration, and tool use into the developer's environment, allowing for proper debugging, version control, and deployment anywhere from a laptop to the cloud.
With ADK Go, developers get the speed and concurrency of the Go language combined with tight integration into Google Cloud. It includes out-of-the-box support for over 30 databases through something called the MCP Toolbox for Databases, which makes connecting to real-world data sources extremely easy. The framework's design mirrors the other ADK versions, so whether you're coding in Python, Java, or Go, you get the same structure and tools, a unified ecosystem for building complex AI systems. Now, one of the coolest parts is A2A support, short for agent-to-agent -agent communication. This lets developers create multi-agent systems where different agents collaborate on tasks. A main agent can securely delegate work to specialized sub-agents without exposing its internal memory or proprietary logic. Google even contributed a full A2A Go SDK to the open source community, so anyone can start experimenting with distributed agent setups. In short, ADK Go is a sign that Google wants AI development to feel like real software engineering again, not just prompting. You write your agents like any other service, test them, version them, and deploy them wherever you need. So what do you think? Is OpenAI's reasoning-focused GPT 5.1 about to outsmart Google's massive Gemini 3 Pro? Or will Nano Banana 2 steal the spotlight this time? Drop your thoughts below, make sure to subscribe, and hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.